In this video, we will learn about the unique function in Office 365 Excel. In short, it's like removing duplicates and keeping the unique values. Before understanding the theory, let me give an example. If I write the function unique and choose this entire array which contains different colors and I close the parenthesis, I get the unique values which are red and blue. Just in case this turns out to be black, the answer will automatically be updated. So the basic use of unique is very simple. Remove duplicates and keep the unique values. Now I will talk about the other two parameters which are part of unique function. Suppose you want only those values which are appearing only once. So I write unique function. I choose this entire array. Next, I ignore the second option. And I go to the third option which says return items that appear exactly once. I use true and then I close the parenthesis. I get only black. Now you could have done the same using count ifs function which counts how many times black is appearing in the list. But here you get a direct answer without having to filter and copy paste it separately. So this was about the third parameter which allows you to return items that appear exactly once. Now, let me talk about the second parameter. Suppose I have red with 10 and 20 as value, but blue with 5 and 5 as value. Technically speaking, both these rows are unique when seen as a whole. However, when I see blue and 5 and compare that with blue and 5, these two are repetitions. So if I want only one instances of such rows, I'll be writing unique function, choosing the entire array, in this case, both the columns. Next, I say return unique rows, which is false. And I can ignore the third parameter, which by default will be seen as false. That means return every distinct item. So for now, I just close the parenthesis and I press enter. So I realize I have red 10 and 20, but I have blue 5 only one time. So you can use this to create a unique list wherein the uniqueness is defined by all the values of a given row and not just a value from a given column. So this was a quick tutorial on how to use unique function in Office 365 of Excel.